Hey guys, good afternoon. This is Rose and welcome to my vlog. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I breathe Hey guys, as of now I just finished um, Installing the Windows 7 Ultimate So I'll put some name My name Next This is client PC then password same then next ask me later then we have to set the time so I will choose Singapore because we have the same time of Singapore then the time is this is correct so next and here in the server PC still the installation of the windows is ongoing so we are now in 89% so I have here server PC and the client PC so this is our router this is the hub where we connect all the Ethernet cables to the server and to the PC and to the router and this is the repeater and of course this is the EVR the uninterruptible power supply, keyboard, mouse. So now we are finished installing the Windows 7 Ultimate in the client PC. So I will enter my password, the password that I made earlier. Oh, wait. And here in the other side, the first booting is finished because I'm doing the partition. So I need to press the delete to bring it back to the BIOS setup for the second booting. Okay, this is the BIOS and I will choose the hard drive. Then I will choose the second booting as the SATA. Then escape. F10 yes so here in the client PC I am done with the installing of the windows so now I'm going to install the drivers pack so we'll go to computer this is the USB the removable disk F so I'll choose the drivers application drivers pack solution so I am installing the driver's pack for the client PC and while waiting I'll come here in the server so the second booting is almost finished so we have to wait a few minutes here we have to ch we have to click this install and update then install installation okay i'm done with the installation of the drivers pack so now i will install some software application so we'll go to computer removable disk drivers application so i'll start with the adobe adobe reader Yes. This is the Adobe. So we have to change the destination folder to 
local drive D. So all the uh, software application should be placed in the local disk D. Then OK. Then next. Then install. Then we have to wait until it is finished. Then it's done. So that is the way how we will install the software application. So after that, I will install the Google, WinRAR, the VLC the antivirus guys i'm done with the software installation so i only installed two applications adobe and the google chrome so this is just for the video purposes and now we will do the router configuration or the ip address configuration so first we have to go to the browser so i have here the google oh, oh sorry we have to check first if what is the gateway of the router we'll go to cmd then ip config so the gateway is 192.168.0.1 so we will use that one here in the browser so 192.168.0.1 so this is the one internet so we have here the DHCP which is the one that we enter this is the one and two that one six eight that zero that one this is dynamic IP address and this is the static the ten that zero zero three because yesterday I I set it to the state static IP so now I will change to DHCP so this is the SSID or the service set identifier so this is where you have to change the name of your Wi-Fi so I will change it to lovely then the password is same then okay so this is where the name will appear in your Wi-Fi if you turn on the Wi-Fi your Wi-Fi access then this is the bandwidth here you can set here if, if it's unlimited if, or if you want your your connection or the bandwidth to be standard or high definition or we will set it to unlimited then okay Wi-Fi that is correct already so now we are done then I will check this name if I'll turn on the Wi-Fi if this name will appear then our configuration is okay <laughs> Thank you.